I'd love to get your view on Crown because we just had that breaking news from the Royal Commission into the suitability of Crown Melbourne to hold that licence and they said they are not suitable to hold that licence. Your thoughts on the stock when it opens today? Oh, uh, look, uh, nobody expected Crown to be shut down. It was always going to survive. Um, it's a massive employer and pays a lot of tax. So <laughs> you've got to love the self-interest in these things. Uh, you know, we've had Royal Commission into banks, into insurance sector, into, you know, we've looked a fair amount into the property sector and the casinos as well. Um, you look, there are problems for sure. Have they got to fix things? Sure. Are they going to flip a few people, throw some people under the bus? For sure. But is that going to change the overall dynamics? I don't think so. These are great assets. I think the asset value in these things are pretty good. Um, and if this settles down, you know, if, if the locals are struggling to hold on to power, I suspect someone globally will take them out because you've got to think of these casinos like a utility. They are very good assets that earn pretty good return. Once these things get cleared, it should do well. So in this context, uh, you know, both casinos are now back in favor for me because once the dust settles, they'll do better. All right, so what, if you're, if you're holding it, you'd continue to hold, but um, is there a buying opportunity as well? Look, uh, you know, if you're holding it, definitely hold through. You've already taken the pain. Um, if you're a new investor, I'd be looking at buying gradually over the next three months because you're going to get the upside from reopening cycle, but you're going to get the bad side from media bashing. But, you know, in three to six months, this will all be behind us and potentially we'll have a certainly a changed management running it. So in that context, I would look to buy it over the next three to four months, just buy like 20, 30% at a time every month and add to it. So if it goes up, you've got a buffer. If it goes down, you're averaging down. But in 12 months time, you should be doing better.